Uh, on Friday, we have seen the list, um, what we have seen, uh, created list and uh, which field to be displayed, those things we defined in state. And the state variable we, have, we are updating here in component demo. Let's see how to call the API. Mm. Uh, this one uh, we need, first we need to import uh, this namespace okay i'll add this line okay for the reference i'll ping you this link as well to call http uh, i mean to uh, to make uh, serpent escape we need to import these two things sp http client and uh, SPHTP client response. So I'm importing this. After importing, uh, get items count in a list. Okay, if you see the URL, items count there is getting. We are getting items. Okay, that will change. I copy this uh, this part and paste here. So, so we need to work on this for, uh, request URL we need to change that will open the SharePoint site
instrument itself this is the list we have created so underscore api web Title customer details. Items of one. If we give items of one, it will uh, item in that it will take first item ID. Uh, uh, item with item ID one. If we give item with two, item with item ID two. Hope you know the item ID field. Okay, so whatever the value we are passing it is it referring the item ID. Slash missing. This person web dot. Post missing the way. Copy this content. I'll paste it in this first video. Mm. Oh, we have seen this response already. So. Rest response seems we have already seen, so it will be the same response. It will be same kind of uh, the key values and the within the properties it will come. Okay. The properties uh, item with item ID and all the data will come. So I'll copy this URL. Update here. I'll comment this. We'll copy. We'll, first, we will try to print this response JSON in console.log. Okay, console.log is something like how some uh, output is coming. We, we can use this to test how the output is coming, how the response is coming in the console. We can can refer so that's the purpose of this console log log that if we add this we 
let console.log calling API I'll do gulp sir um, okay um, you, know, you paste complete till this and then we'll see gulp sir let me know once you are done Uh, in this code, uh, you can see um, this is the method uh, like HTTP client is even something uh, calling the uh, SharePoint REST API. Here we are just passing the uh, request URL. That's HTTP client dot get. That's the only thing we are passing here. After that, uh, we are getting the response here. Then response in the response we will be having the response JSON. In the response JSON, whatever it is, uh, if it is success, success related information, if it is failed, failed information will be there. And that we will see how the response uh, we are getting from the API in the console. Okay, this is uh, simple uh, two lines of code um, to calling the SharePoint REST API. Okay, completed from Completed, okay. Yeah. And the day we didn't update the workbench URL. This is still In this particular uh, option not used, so just throwing error. Um, go to input and remove this yes client option. This is not required. Save it, it will again rebuild. And you control
స్టాప్ తీసి ఉంటుంది మిర్చిలు we'll see calling the p is there and after that in the rest the p it is not responding we didn't get any response you can see calling the p is printed here calling the p then we call this this p but it didn't give any response Let's see what is the error. This dot context dot which did it claim dot get. context from where it is coming I'll put this and I'll place the breakpoint here. So it's calling a PA function F10.
Mm. Here it is not coming. getting from drugs. Uh, can we use sp.web.list? sp.web.list, I don't know. That one is like, it will be JSON, right? That one we can't use. <coughs> Pass here as and go to customer details. description okay uh, go to i customer details um, props here okay this is the interface adding Let's remove everything. One text. Any. What was there? there. Okay. Let's play some
the two will refer here Put components Input yes, HTTP train context. We'll recognize HTTP client itself. HTTP client. Okay, uh, importing as HTTP client and changing it as HTTP client. Change it now. Go into that web port or please file. Commenting everything here. This file line. We'll be having only uh, HTTP client. That one, how they are getting the values. This dot context dot HTTP client. Move this two lines. I'll comment this line number twenty three. Oh, let it be. Okay. Here and 
instructs start content to the HTTP client. This dot graph dot HTTP client. Let's see how it works. So now it is working. You start up a dot HTTP client if you add it in console. Undefined, it is expecting some values. Get object is there. Uh, this two will uh, refer from this. Nothing is changed here. I will try to do the same thing. Not passing modifier to containing it. Okay, instead of SP HTTP client, we created our own member variable that I'm replacing. This one. Yes, and we hard code this value as well. <coughs> Sorry.
okay add at the url directory no list of items console dot log data we see how it comes commenting the request url I removed the HTTP client response. So, for this call, it didn't use HTTP response. So, I saved it. Will succeed. Going to the page again. we got the output you can see here this is the one we try to print and if you refresh the page again it will come it is printing the calling api message call me pre printed again i will run this okay over the context here you can see all the information available okay. title phone number id id everything it is coming here okay this one we can use it in our uh, to display it we can use this uh, response okay i'll give you this link for the reference from here only we have updated the code Same structure it is following. You can refer this. And let me know once you are done with this.
שצריך.
Done with this. Hello. Let's send trying and getting some attacks. Thank you. 
Can I share my screen? Yes. Yes. Go. Hello. Can you go uh, the uh, the first line uh, importing the namespace? We will be doing right. Mm -hmm. Import HTTP client. Okay. And uh, how you are uh, go to that uh, inter uh, interface. SP HTTP client or oh, copy this? No, uh, the uh, variable alone, SP HTTP client. Okay. Okay, and component info webpod.es. Go to that. Uh, outside the component, there is webpod.es file, is there, right? Customer info webpod.es. Outside the Yes, uh. okay. Here also, we need to do changes. Okay, you comment this uh, all five lines. the copy on colon this dot context dot sp http client can you repeat again and this Okay. Uh, uh, remove the uh, uh, like uh, error one, uh, line number twenty one, twenty two, and even the bottom also you may see some error, line number forty two. Uh, comment it. It's not required. Scroll down. Oh, there is one more line. Seventy-nine. Okay. No error in this page, right? No. Yes. Save it. 
you know go to the tsx file and this dot box dot http client is the right remove that http client and press the copy down here yes Okay. Mm. Let's take a clean down get. Put our uh, inside the customer info. Give uh, double. Don't give them. Let it be. For that URL, uh, give the course uh, like this. Uh, I have pressed it. Okay, now it is floating down, right? Then we can remove this. Yes. Okay. What is the error? Click on technical details. No, no. In the page itself, there is uh, technical details, right? Yes. Failed to load component. Okay, uh, delete this report and add again. Sorry? Uh, in the page, uh, delete this report and add again. Uh, remove the report from the page. Uh, there is a delete icon, right? The left hand side. Yeah. Add again. Same. Same. Mm. Uh, click on technical details. Then empty web object for component. <laughs> Load component. What is where is that load component method? Do we have that load component method? No. no? Something is returning zero value. So in the expand render. In 
DSX? Mm, this uh, remove uh, the, mm, in the render method expand it. Okay, you already commented that's not an issue. Okay, let it be. Component it mode scale down. Uh, this start wait go in we need to do it. We are till now we are not returning anything. Okay, now you run. 